Michael, for those very warm words. Uh, some of you will know this, but many of my colleagues probably don't. Uh, Michael and his team deliver those nutritious, healthy, hot meals in the London Borough of Newark. That's right. Um, Michael also informed me that uh, uh, Laser represent 106,000 um, fantastic uh, men and women who deliver uh, these meals uh, on a daily basis. 3.8 million yep. meals a day in 22,000 schools. A truly remarkable achievement. Michael, I'm very grateful uh, for the invitation uh, to this National School Meals Week reception. Um, I would like to sincerely thank uh, the Legal Association for catering in education for arranging this invitation and warmly congratulate uh, you on reaching is it the 30th anniversary or 25th anniversary of this event? 25th anniversary of School Meals Week. Yes. Um, uh, so uh, National School Meals Week is a fantastic initiative. Uh, and it celebrates the important contribution school caterers make to ensure children uh, across the whole country have a healthy and nutritious meal during the school day. In my own constituency of Stratford-upon-Avon, when I visit a school, I make a point of going and shaking hands uh, with the most important people, I believe, in the school. I'm looking right in the back <laughs> of the room, the people who keep the kids uh, nourished and the engine running up here so they can do all the learning they need to do. Um, we are determined uh, as a government to ensure that all children uh, are well nourished and develop healthy eating habits that stay with them uh, throughout their lives. My department plays an integral role in providing healthy nutritious food for children and I will just very briefly uh, mention a couple of important actions that we are taking. Firstly we recognise the benefits of providing a healthy school meal to the most disadvantaged uh, children in our society. Uh, we therefore provide free school meals to 1.1 million disadvantaged children. In addition, 1.4 million infants, and we, Michael and I were talking about the infant school meal, indeed you mentioned it in your speech, receive a free school lunch through our universal infant free school meals. And in September of 2014, uh, we extended the free meals to disadvantage further education students for the first time. Our school food standards ensure that meals are healthy by restricting the amount of fat, sugar, salt uh, that can be served to children during the school day. And finally, uh, we are currently investing up to £26 million uh, pounds from the soft drinks industry levy in the National Schools Breakfast Programme uh, delivered by the Charity Family Action in partnership with the Charity Magic Breakfast. The programme uh, will set up or improve more than 1,770 breakfast clubs in the, the most disadvantaged areas across the country. I saw one in operation a few weeks ago at St Mary's in Battersea where 50% of the uh, children there were on people premium. And I have to say, it's quite remarkable. And one of the byproducts is actually it has improved attendance, all attendance, because parents can actually get their little son or daughter into school early to have breakfast there, one less burden for them to cope with early in the morning. Thank you once again to Laser uh, for organising National Schools Meals Week uh, and inviting me uh, to this reception. I look forward to working with you, Michael, and your team and other school food stakeholders to deliver against our shared aims. Thank you very much indeed.